Hi guys, so um, we are getting really close now. Um, so I just want to share Mike's pregnancy experience with you. it was pretty easy though um, not that bad but there was a few things that nobody kind of tells you about but I think all pregnancies are different though so I don't think anybody can really prepare you exactly how your pregnancy can be um, so yeah so um, I found out I was pregnant and then the only symptom I had was nauseous and a missed period that's the only symptoms i had um i didn't throw up but i was really nauseous so everybody told me the nauseous will go away but at around 12 weeks it did not after 12 weeks the um, nauseous turned into actually throwing up so, <laughs> so yeah i lost a lot of weight during my pregnancy um and i would say around 16, 17 weeks, my ribs started hurting, like really bad. Um, I knew about back pain, but I did not know your ribs are going to hurt this bad. Um, the baby's feet are in my ribs, so it makes sense that it's hurting, but that's, that's all. But during my pregnancy, well, when I first found out I was pregnant, there was a lot of people, a lot of people asking me if I'm happy. Um, I did not like that question of of course I'm happy about being pregnant so I did not like that question at all but okay <laughs> um, and then during your pregnancy there's a lot of people wanting to touch you and want photos of you photos that you don't even want of yourself and things like that and that's the one thing that I did not like about my pregnancy is mostly other people's comments and being called big <laughs> and things like that um, but that's gonna be over soon so it's okay um, I also have high, bl high blood pressure um, so that's why I'm getting a c-section as well um, because of my high blood pressure um, it was fine and then about two months ago I started taking medication for it I think it's about two months ago but yeah so other than that I lost a lot of weight during my pregnancy but the baby gained weight so it wasn't reason for concern which is great <laughs> so yeah so I'm going to show you guys the room that we have now um, I know when the baby is here I'm gonna change it <laughs> Um, I just know myself when I'm we're going to start using the room I know there's some things I might change around or swap around or whatever but I will show you guys the way the room looks now so firstly we do have a baby gate because we have little puppies like that that likes to go in the room <laughs> so we do have a baby gate for in case we need it okay so there's the dresser with a little changing pad and a beautiful picture I got for my baby shower and this is something my friend made for us next to the dresser there I have a dustbin and a little laundry basket that was from the baby shower but we're gonna change it to say something about the baby's room or something so we're gonna keep the elephant picture there I have some little greenery and just a rocking chair and then in this corner I have this on the ground for the little baby to play and that's just a diaper bag which is packed but not really packed <laughs> and then there's the crib I know there's a lot of pillows so this was made by my mom's friend for little baby 
and then we have this mobile and this was made by grandma and we have the pictures up there and then down here is the extra matches we have and the dogs go lying there not in there now but they like lying in there and then that's full of soft toys have a big elephant there a little chair that was made by my husband's aunt yeah and then there's some shelves just some extra nappies and extra bins down there that's closed for three months and up and that's some toys then we have a scale and we can measure the baby as well we have a little elephant chair from my dad and then there's some shelves a lot of books and a lot of puzzle this was also made by my dad so i want to paint different emotions on all of their faces it's not super important now but when the baby gets bigger and then that's just some elephants we had already and then that was made by my husband's dad that's okay that's the baby bag that we're going to send to school and then this is the closet so up there is some toys from our childhood and then that's just some attachments for the pram there's some medication and some extra things for the bin there's some clothes and that's some extra duvet and cot bomba and things and a lot of nappies <laughs> and then there's some clothes a lot of that that's some swaddles and washcloths baby blankets and baby towels and then that's for the nappies and then in here is just some shoes there's the little puppy <laughs> so in the drawers the top one i have the nappies we're going to start off with disposables um so i have nappies i just have the necessary items up here and i know it's going to change as i see what the baby needs more of little toothbrush and things like that the second one is our extra wipes and the cloth diapers and this one is some clothes and this is like swaddles sleep sacks kind of things and then this one's kind of just being a junk drawer for now um, this needs to go in the file, but I don't want to put it in the file because the file is going with the hospital. So it's waiting here for us to get back. <laughs> and that's some um, spuchlapis and hats and a lot of pips. And this is for the bottles to keep the bottles warm. So yeah, that's the room. So for our room, we have this little camp cot and this side can go down so it can be next to the bed um for now we just put it like this we don't know it's our first child so we don't know what we're going to do when the baby comes home but for now we're just putting it like this thanks for watching